Okay, so we're talking about the Glock 30 SF today. And first thing, let's... Nothing in there. All right, safety check. We're good to go. What it is is a double stack compact 45 ACP Glock. Back in the early 2000s, this thing was all the rage. A lot of people carried these. But I feel like t in today's age, they're a little bit less known, a little bit less carried from what I can tell from the people that I talk to who carry. I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance to shoot one, uh, shoot it. The fact that it's a, a compact 45 probably scares some people away. Straight out of the box, as soon as I got it, man, I was shooting this thing pretty well, and, and I was surprised. So first things, let's get into use. It was designed to be carry and it is great at that the way that they've designed it now with the sf frame it's very short here the slides very thin the older glock 30 i mean it literally had the dimensions of a two by four if you've ever carried a glock 19 just check this out i mean they're they're very very similar in size you know but if you've ever carried a glock 19 you can definitely carry the glock 30 and uh what's cool about it you've got 10 plus one of 45 so for concealed carry, that's a lot of options. That's a very big round, which I know, you know, 9 mil, 40, 45, they're all gonna do the job, I got you. But that's a good round capacity, in, in my opinion, for a concealed carry gun. What else, home defense. What's cool about this gun is that A, 11 rounds of 45 is gonna get the job done. And then also, you can take your Glock 21 mag here, you've now have 14 rounds of 45. Plus it's got this nice little tiny rail section. You could use that for you know a light or a laser if that's something that you're into. So uh, home defense, absolutely. So I'm going to assume if you're looking at this video that you've already decided that you want to or at least you're, you're comfortable with the idea of carrying a 45 ACP round, okay? I'm not gonna get into the debate about 45 versus nine millimeter. There's a ton of stuff out there. I, I, they're both going to do the job. Okay. They're both great rounds. I, I'm going to assume you want more rounds than less rounds. Okay. Every one of us, everybody who ever carries a gun, um, concealed carry or, or uh, open carry, we all have the comfort versus capacity dilemma or decision that we have to make. How comfortable do I want the gun and how many rounds do I want available? I bought this because I wanted a few more rounds than a single stack. And I wanted to be able to carry a gun that, that shot, you know, very big 230 grain slug and some, you know, nasty HST hollow points or whatever. That's why I went with this and I paid $525 for it. In my mind, that's a good value. You're getting a go to war handgun. God forbid that you should have to use this. You're going to have something reliable that's accurate and it's just small enough for me that I can carry it on my person every single day and it's not a big issue. All right, let's roll in a few competitors here. What else is out there in the compact 45 market? There's a lot, but some of the few that we have in front of us, we have the new MNP Shield 45 or MNP 45 Shield. Um, this is a uh, great gun as well. The new triggers on these MNPs are a lot better, like I said uh, in another video. The new triggers are, are way better than the first generation triggers. Um, I'm telling you, I have an MNP 45 full size, this trigger is is 100 times better, okay? And these come in right around $420, I believe, is what my buddy paid for this. But once again, you're getting seven plus one. You know, what do you want? Comfort, capacity, you gotta decide. So that's the MMP, great choice as well. And then also we have the car CW45. So this is a, a fantastic choice as well. I've shot this, this is my brother-in-law's. He paid $299 for this out the door at a gun show here locally a few months back. And I shot it uh, quite a bit, put a few boxes of ammo through it. This is a sweet shooting gun. It's a little bit older, a little bit dated than some of these, or actually this one, uh, This I think it came out after the, the Glock, but a little bit of an older design. Um, has some pretty good recoil, but I'm telling you it is a sweet shooting gun and I really enjoyed it. $299, like I said, I'm, I'm, there's also a website, they're selling them for about $270. I'm not gonna mention the name, but yes. So let's just compare, I mean, let's just talk about, there's also, by the way, the MMP 45 Compact, there's 1911s, there's a lot of different guns in this category. But like I said, this is kind of in the middle of a lot of guns out there. Uh, the H and Ks are a little bit more expensive, these are a little bit cheaper. This is kind of in the middle, but you're getting, like I said, a world-class go-to-war uh, SHTF gun that will do the job. To me, 
we're talking about value and competitors, I would pick this over anything cheaper and also some of the more expensive options because of how well it does everything for that $525 price point. So uh, probably gonna do a review on single stack 45s later on with these and the XDS, but check out that video later on. Okay, cool. Okay, next up is size and weight. I've got my calibers here. And from my reading, one inch on the slide. Now the frame is slightly larger. It's about 1.1 inch, almost 1.2. The slide on the Glock 19, guess what? Right at one inch. So now the frame is slightly thinner on the nine millimeter versions, but that's why I keep comparing it to the Glock 19 is just because I know it's a gun that everybody's held, everybody's seen one, if not shot one or, or owned one. So now what about weight? Weight when you're concealing is huge. Also the dimensions of the grip are huge because the barrel kind of normally it's going down, maybe it's in your waistband or outside your waistband. It's not quite as a big of a deal unless it's you know like a five inch barrel. But this way, especially if you had a flush base plate here, this thing would be very easy to conceal. So let's check out the weight. 1.6 ounces, not bad for a 45 where you have 11 rounds available. Glock 19, 1.7 ounces and 1.6. Now that's unloaded, loaded, it might be slightly different. So if you can conceal a Glock 19 or if you've ever carried a Glock 19, I'm telling you, if you want a 45, this is a really good option. Also, if you're comparing this to a Nagant revolver, those are around 28 ounces. So um, this comes in really well. Ergonomics, guess what? It's a Glock. If you've ever seen a Glock, if you've ever felt a Glock, it feels like a Glock. Um, the, the slide release, the takedown, the mag release, everything is where it should be. Everything's easy to get to. When you buy a Glock, it's simple. And that's exactly what this thing is. If you're looking for low frills, this is frillless. Okay, the sights on this are not the best. I don't really love this bar and dot setup. Uh, it's not a huge negative because they can be replaced, but why? Why do they need to be replaced? To me, out of the box, they should be better. If we look at something like the MMP 45 Shield, these three dot setup is much better, is much nicer. The other ergonomics that I don't really love about this gun, a lot of people say that this gap that you put in with this base plates that come with it, that can actually pinch you right there while you're shooting because your pinky rests right up upon that. That's not a, a thing that I've ever had experience. My pinky is still perfect and in, in, in one piece. Real quick takedown, um, just like any other Glock, you pull this back a little bit, you slide down the, um, whatever that thing's called, I forget, but that's kind of the insides of the guns there. It's just like every other Glock. Okay, accessories, it's a Glock. Magazines, magazines, plate, mag releases, uh, slide releases, triggers, sights. There's so many different things. You can even get, you know, one of these aftermarket companies to get you a slide done. You can get a barrel. I mean, there's a million plus things to do to a Glock. This one's no different. Trigger's good. It, it's a Glock trigger. It's a striker fired polymer Glock trigger. It's not going to be a, you know, one pound 1911 trigger or anything like that. For a defensive carry gun, it's going to get the job done. This gun's going to be more accurate than I am. If I do my job, then I should be able to uh, stop a threat to me or my family or my house or whatever. So the trigger's adequate. It, it's not the best in the world, but my gosh, it is not the worst in the world either. There's a lot of other ones that I'm not a huge fan of, like Car 45. This is this is a decent trigger, but it's just let's double check that. The trigger pull is so long, and then. The reset is like a mile and a half. So it's not the best trigger in the world, but it's not the worst either. Before I bought the Glock 30 SF, I was a little bit worried that a compact 45 would have too much recoil. And then I watched a video from Highcock 45 shooting these, which by the way, if you wanna see how accurate these are, watch his video, Highcock 45 is on the Glock 30 S because he makes these things look like a competition shooter. Um, maybe because he used to be, I don't know. but. You watch him shoot it and the thing barely moves in his hand. As you can see in our video, it's not that bad. It's an enjoyable experience. I went out and I put 250 rounds through this back to back, like pretty much as quickly as I could to break this thing in and, and just kind of get used to it. And it was a joy to shoot. It was a blast. You would think a, a small 45 would not be, but is it gonna have more recoil than a Glock 19 or a Glock 26? Yes, it's a bigger round and just the same size gun almost, but I could still get two or three shots really fast on target. Uh, not super fast, you know, I'm not that good. 
I don't know why, something about the way these things are designed is just a really nice shooting gun, really well designed gun, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoyed shooting this thing. So I think you will too. If you're a little bit worried about that 45, I'm telling you, try it out. It, it, you might enjoy it. Overall impression of the Glock 30 SF. To me, if you're looking for a concealed carry 45, this is a fantastic option. I, I, I would recommend this gun to anybody. After shooting this thing, the recoil is so manageable. I was, I was very surprised with how it shot because I was expecting a lot more out of the 45. Obviously, a 9mm in a Glock 26 or a Glock 19 is going to have a lot less recoil or muzzle flip, but this thing is a blast to shoot. I seriously put 250 rounds through it back to back, and it was fine. Like My hand didn't hurt. I don't know. I, maybe you're not like me. I don't know. Maybe you're looking for something different. But I don't know what it is, but when I'm carrying this thing with 10 plus rounds of 45, I just feel awesome. Uh, something about carrying a 45 is just a lot of fun. And uh, you know you got a hard hitting, big 20, 230 grain slug. It's like the, the lesser known Glock 19 because it's in 45 ACP, obviously. But it's just a really cool option. Um, I, you know, if, you're, if you could only buy one gun, if you could only have one gun to do everything, this is a fantastic all-around choice. This is a, a great choice that checks almost every box. So that's my overall impression. My recommendation is if you want it, go buy it because you will not be disappointed. So, all right, thanks guys. We're done here at RMA Arms. We appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about the Glock 30S, or Glock 30 SF, leave a comment below. We'll try to stick around for the next few days and after we post it and answer any questions. Also, if you want to see us review a certain gun, please leave that in the comments and we'll check those out. And if we get enough reviews, we'll go, uh, we'll review it for you. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you at the next video.